some signal. Oh no. Okay. You. Here we go. Here we, here we go. Nice and slow. And tonight we are going. We rehearse now at Rock Supplies Amsterdam. The cheapest uh, rehearsal space for bands in town. That's why I used to go there as a teenager, and now go there again. However, we've had like the last well since we started, we had like in my in the temporary house where I used to live, we had amazing uh, facilities. So I had all this stuff set up, and we had we were recording everything in multi channels, so everything was separate. So tracks to edit it and to uh, listen back to it all the time and we could rehearse endlessly and now there's different times we're back I'm back in rock supplies after uh, more than 10 years I made a Batman song dressed up as a kid on the stage. Yeah, it's like there were not so many words. Well, it was just a name essentially. Batman. <laughs> but uh, it got the ball rolling, and then uh, yeah, as a teenager and growing up, it was just it was really nice to have. Uh, friends playing in bands and I started this band with some of my closest friends and it was a really good experience and um, that uh, I have to I had to redefine myself uh, now many years later because I miss uh, this so much and uh, trying to get really get back to this hey, I'm Jelles I am in Rai Hora Est as uh, my band that I have with my family Glenn and Albert, that I've known for a long time. And we enjoy making music together and we enjoy playing in weird places. Like, well, I mean, living room is not so weird, but it can get a lot weirder if you ask me. Uh, we're, down, we're down for a lot of things. I play guitar, pedals, hearts, and minds. Those are some main ingredients. I uh, sing, and there's a bass guitar, and, and there's a synthesizer on stage for no reason. What do you think of Yelis's singing? Um, <coughs> he's doing his best. That's why I'm singing, because no one, uh, no one else <laughs> is doing it. Martyr. Yeah. The sin of the singer, uh, but I do like it. So nice to use your voice to be like, oh, I have a microphone. You don't. <laughs> I'm up here on the stage. Have I been saying for since the 80s? September 89. With Bon Jovi. Yeah. So, yeah, a year? Yeah. It's when I was, uh, felt comfortable enough. So, you will, yeah. Well, I tried 
try to uh, stay a bit, keep stay a bit uncomfortable. Uh, music is a special way of communicating. It's like you interact with people on a different level, which goes spontaneously or not. And yeah, how we compose is also I start something, or Glenn starts something, or Yilla starts something, and then we get somewhere. It's not that we say, oh, we have to do this and this and that, and then we come to something, of course, then we uh, want to make it more concrete and, and, the, and the, okay, define the structure of the song. But I like the, the, the different way of communication and how the music helps to interact on a different level with people. This is just my terrible sense of humor. And actually during the gig, uh, uh, my friend Lotte, who is uh, Glenn's girlfriend, uh, she looked, she was standing in the front. And uh, she was, she was, while I was singing this, she never heard it before, she just looked at me, she's like shaking her head. She's just laughing at me and I had to laugh as well because she was like, you think this is pretty funny? You just saw me enjoying myself. Bullshitting, yeah. And, uh, but not ever looking at her again okay. in the audience. <laughs> It's funny. You think it's funny. Lotta thinks it's funny. Yeah, just, I'm happy with that. It feels more generous than my issues in my life, which which are completely my own fault. God is best wellness. <laughs> Fucking lekker in a paradise. <laughs> Take cues from uh, martial arts or Eastern philosophy where we try to do everything with a lot of intention. And what that does, it does bring you into, there's a mindfulness that we are, yeah, this clear sense of being in this spot where you are performing. And for me performing is really uh, important in having a band play music. Actually, I like all. Of, I like all the things that come with it. Might not be equally good at all these different things. For instance, like recording. The recording can be terrible as well. I always like performing, even if it's like, even if it's a slightly bad experience. Uh, I've toured with this band and it was horrible. But it was a lot of fun. Still, like it was just some else band and we, I was filling in. Uh, so even that was fun, and it was horrible, uh, and recording can be such a drag, but it's quite nice. And then, um, 
I also like organizing, but uh, I'm kind of I have my moments, but generally I'm pretty shit at that. So, <laughs> so uh, I, but I do like I do at the best to like all these things. But the main, yeah, it is one of the main things is really being is this mindfulness when performing to really that you are. Yeah, doing everything with the intention, and that's what with this band uh, was kind of the, well, not kind of, it just was the um, mission, the mission, the raison d'être, to to reach a place and to uh, channel this because so because it is um, for a large part uh, improvised. Also the DJ. I should have become a DJ. I should have. <laughs> 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 So that was, that was really interesting to music and always, uh, and I have a really broad taste of music because when I was, uh, was, was young, you had, uh, was in the 70s, you had either disco or new wave or uh, whatever. And I was choosing, I liked black music, new wave, Stevie Warner, but also like new wave, experimental music like David Bowie. So very broad spectrum of uh, music taste. and. Uh, yeah, that, that, uh, and that never stops, basically. Yeah, I'm playing drums now for uh, 40 years now. And uh, so when I moved out of, because I was always in the kit, I was playing with sticks and hammering everything, but uh, yeah, we were living in a very small house with six people, so a drum kit was impossible. So the first thing what I did when I went out of my parents' house, I bought a drum kit. <laughs> yeah, because it's so noisy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the people, of course, in the students' house were complaining about the noise, but nevertheless, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like the blending of uh, old and new, basically, and I think that's also what we try with uh, the bands I'm playing currently with uh, Glenn and Yildiz. It's like we have kind of broad mix of uh, rock, dance, uh, techno, minimal, etc, etc. Drumming tickles your brain anyway, your left and your uh, right side of your brain. So it's, it helps me to relax and also get new energy. If you could pick a word that would describe Yilis, uh, what would it be? Um, a bit chaotic. <laughs> like some mythical creature, mythical, uncatchable creature. <laughs> We've known each other for a very long time now and uh, it's never a dull moment with you this, I think. <laughs> uh, who are my influences? I don't want to be influenced. Uh, and uh, I feel I feel awkward around music. I feel awkward around music. I feel awkward around music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Glenn, I play electric guitar. The band is called uh, Radio Hoja Est. I think it's like three years already, we had four gigs. 
still coming strong, but... <laughs> I don't know, I like kind of that twangy sound that the electric guitar uh, can have. <laughs> um, sometimes also not so much uh, being a band or like playing all these really cool songs, but also just about creation of sounds and also see how, like what kind of effect these sounds have on you and on other people. By very simple means, you can create a kind of environment together. You can kind of respond to what one's doing, or sometimes you feel like, oh, maybe I'll just stop playing for a little while, see what's going on. And just this, it's kind of like a just very direct to work with sound because whatever you do has a kind of impact in the space. And uh, sometimes it's sometimes you're playing and you're like, wow, are we playing for like a minute or maybe it's like already ten minutes? It's a, just kind of I don't know, changing reality a little bit in a way together. And then sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it's <laughs> yeah. better. And it's like, oh, it's actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're really different characters and also different in age, but still, <laughs> yeah, we were. Uh, uh, we have the same feeling for music, and I played in different bands where there, yeah, there's always the kind of conflicts can happen or whatever. It's always a bit messy, but uh, the three of us, despite we're very different, I think we find each other in the music. Yeah. And that's what I like uh, playing music because it's uh, uh, it's really from your belly, it's not from your head, and that's how I approach it. Bring a set list, you guys memorize it. I have to look at this list because that's our reality. Uh, but we're at the dorks, home crowd, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna rock. <laughs>
Sir Bethany, good dancers? Okay, thank you so much. If you're looking at this documentary, do you need a band to perform? Uh, you can book us. Telegram. Telegram. Yeah, Telegram channel. Radio Rest. <laughs>